All righty. Welcome back to One Bar and Lepagus Show. I am Lepagus, and we're going to talk about some juicy tidbits come on the Vikings' recent OTA practice. Uh, One Bar already did a video earlier talking about the punt return situation, and a couple more things came out. And before we hop into those, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the vids. We are so close. We're not so close, but we're at 7,200. We're almost, we're on our way to 8,000. So drop hashtag 8,000 in the comments. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel so far. So, <clears throat> Minnesota Vikings. Holding, I believe, their fifth OTA practice. And a couple things come out of this that are at least definitely worth talking about. We're going to talk about anything we can right now, as there isn't a whole shit ton of things going on in the Vikings world. So the, the first thing I think that was interesting is that Kellen Mann, Sean Manning are splitting reps at back of quarterback. This is great news for Kellen Mond. Uh, the fact, you know, how he was treated by Mike Zimmer, kind of just being brushed aside. The fact he's in there taking backup reps is huge for him. So, so far, it sounds like everything he's done has been positive. Uh, Kevin O'Connell's had nothing but good things to say about Kellen Mond so far. And here's the big thing why this is important for the Vikings, because we've seen Sean Manning on the field. We've seen what he does. We've seen what he brings, and it's not good. Uh, he is just not cut out to be a backup in the league, someone who can come in and actually win you a ball game or not lose you a ball game. Sean Manning, if he's starting quarterback, chances are you're going to get a loss. Uh, Kelamon, we don't know, and he has some upside here, and that's what's exciting for Vikings fans, to have a backup quarterback who has some upside, who has some potential, who maybe can make some things happen. Mon can take off, make plays with his legs. He's got a strong arm. So if this kid can continue to develop, earn the back of quarterback spot, that would be huge for the Vikings. And then Sean Mannion, you know what? If, he, if he's so important to helping Kirk Cousins see things, keep him on the practice squad. He can work with him during the week. Uh, he doesn't need to be taking up a roster spot on game day. Much rather have a guy who gives you some upside, some potential, some excitement at the quarterback position as the backup. So Kelamond, I hope to see him just slowly and slowly as the preseason progresses take over the majority of the backup reps to the point where he's getting them all. So that's good news there. The other thing is this kicking battle seems to be well underway between Greg Joseph and old Mr. Burkick, the undrafted kicker with the sweet cowboy hat. Um, so uh, they did a little what, two minute drill at the end of practice and they had uh, some kicking situations. Uh, Greg Joseph hit five of his six kicks in that drill uh, there was a swirling breeze reported, so kicking conditions kicking conditions were not ideal. Uh, Joseph hit from 33, 39, 43, and 47, and 54, but he missed a 56-yard attempt. Um, again, 56-yard attempt, those don't usually go through. Um, so, and then Burkick, he hit all three of his attempts. He hit from 33, 39, 43. Uh, Di Paola was the long snapper in both of these. And uh, Jordan Berry held for Joseph and Ryan Wright held for Burkick. So here's the thing. Uh, we, you see this happen pretty much every year. Some teams have two kickers in camp. Maybe one's a rookie, one's a veteran. A lot of times a rookie upsets the veteran, takes his spot. And then suddenly you have an option here. Maybe there's a team whose kicker gets hurt, just doesn't have a kicker, a kicker struggling. Maybe you can send a kicker somewhere get something. I and mean, we've seen the Vikings give a, a fourth round pick to get Kari Vedvik a few years back. Hopefully the Vikings can find somebody dumb enough to make a similar deal. If you do get rid of one of these guys, <clears throat> if they both are looking good and looking like they could potentially kick for a team. So we'll see how this thing shakes out, see who wins this battle between Joseph and Burkick. But uh, the fact that it's already starting the fifth OTA practice is a good sign. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see this one unfold through the rest of the preseason. All right, so those are the juicy tidbits that came out of the OTA practice yesterday. Let me know if there's anything else you think is worth talking about. Um, let me know what your plans are this summer. I don't know. There's not a whole lot going on in Vikings world, but we'll keep on talking about everything when there is. And always remember to keep your skull in your hole.